Hey. Should I have called first? Mm, no, of course not. Come in. I did call. I hung up. Why'd you do that? I was afraid Terry would answer. Nicole, Terry's never even been to this place. Well, maybe not physically, but in spirit. She's everywhere you go, Jack, because she's in here. What's this? Nothing. A little homework. Family law. You're reading law books? No, mm, not. I'm a cop. I got to keep up with the times. Don't tell me you finally decided to make something out of yourself. Nicole, let's not start this again. Start what? I'm serious, Jack. I'm proud of you. As opposed to what? Being ashamed of me? Look, Jack, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Look, Nicole, we didn't all grow up in a big house on Winnetka Road. I know that. Some of us were actually born out past the malls and the frontage roads and the tollway. You know, we didn't all get a nice new car for our 16th birthday from Daddy to drive to school with. Some of us just got to take automotive class. You know, I'm really tired of you always throwing this stuff in my face. Well... That makes two of us. What is happening to us? I don't know. Nothing has been the same since Terry Mears got back into town. You are so obsessed with this Terry thing. No, Jack, you are. Oh, God. He's tearing us apart. Ta-da. Oh, it's um, very bohemian. Yeah, well, I don't have much yet. Not on a gardener's pay. Do you want some wine? Yeah, OK. Yeah? I got a great deal on our refrigerator, but, but it's um, not going to come until next week. <laughs> this is where I started. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the first place I ever had when I came to the city. Really? You know, the first place I ever had was my own condo on the north side. Oh, must have killed you to have to sell it. You know, I don't even think about it anymore. Thank you. Uh, I think the thing I miss most about it is that I had a health club on the roof. But I get more exercise on the gardening truck every day. I, I did get more exercise on Why? What do you mean? I got to get a better job. I thought you liked gardening. <sighs> I can't support you on that kind of pay. <laughs> you don't have to support me. I'm going to get a job. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Doing what? I don't know. I, um, <laughs> I've never actually had a job. Well, you know what? I'm going to get a better one. You can't live in a place like this. I just told you I used to. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. A lot of water under the bridge, most of it living in a mansion. You know, you remind me of Sterling when you talk like that. Like what? Like you think I can't handle myself in the real world. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. See, I... I like the real world. Now. And I want to live in it. And I want to live in it with you. But I want to live in it with you, too. Good. It doesn't get much more real than this. I like it. Mm. Well, well, you don't need to say anything. She's just like you and me now. Ah, there she is. Is she the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life? I've always thought she was. God, you were so good in cyber hookers. Terry, this is Steve Burkus. He works down at the department. He's a lawyer. I'm really just a civil servant. Civil servants drink, don't they, Steve? Well, yeah, sometimes, I guess. Well, certainly not on duty. Well, you're not on duty, so what do you have? Oh, uh, how about, uh... Knock down a brewski? A brewski sounds swell. OK, all right, now, come on. You relax, loosen your tie, get funky, Steve, and I'll meet you at the bar. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Who is that guy? I had this bright idea. What you need is a lawyer. That guy's a lawyer? No, well, yeah, you heard him. I mean, he was before he was seduced into this high times, fast lane lifestyle of civil service. But the price is right. Free. Jack? Look, do you have the money to do any better? No. Then why don't you go get the records regarding Nikki and Oldman? Um, 
What does he want to help me? He saw roller babes in cages six times. What can I say? He's a student of art. It's scary. Yeah. That movie was really cool. Yeah, except when they blew the guy's head off with that radio bomb and it landed and all that. Boo-hoo. Those new toy cadavers were really awesome. Come on, kids, it's time to get to bed. We should have checked the ratings, all that violence and gore. I did check. It was a G. Let's go. Mwah. Come on, upstairs. Good night, night, love you. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what about a, uh, a nightcap? <laughs> I sort of feel like we've been on a date. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, Jeannie, you know, I've been thinking, though, about our arrangement. I've been thinking, too. Uh, I think we shouldn't... You know... uh, uh, no, let me go first. No, no, please, let me go first. I, I think it might be a, a bad idea to pretend, that you know... We, that... that we care for each other just for the sake of... Well, of course, of we care about each other. Oh, but care, I mean love. Well, of course, we, we love each other, Well, but... I'm talking about being in love. I mean, you're not in love, well... are you, Glenn? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Do you? Know if you're in love? No. But I know that I am starting to feel that way again, and uh, I don't think it's a real good idea. What are you talking about? I'm talking about not wanting to get hurt again, because I, I feel it coming. So I think that when the children get to sleep, that you probably should go back to your apartment. Are you serious? I'm definitely serious. You haven't even given this a chance. Have you? Have I? Come on now, it was my idea. Well, so, wait, what is it that you wanted to say? Say? Uh, earlier, a minute ago, when we started talking. I, I don't know exactly. You said something that you thought we shouldn't. Shouldn't what? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. You said you didn't think it was right to pretend. Pretend what? I don't know, Glenn. I, I feel like I'm finishing your sentences. Do you want me to finish your sentences? No, I... Glenn, are you in love or aren't you? I don't know. Well, don't come back until you do. <laughs> <laughs>